Your body is breaking down. Right now, as you sit here watching this, cellular damage is accumulating faster than your body can repair it. That persistent fatigue isn't laziness. That brain fog isn't getting older. That chronic pain isn't just something you have to live with. Your body is literally eating itself alive, trying to keep you functioning on fumes. And the worst part? You probably don't even realize it's happening because it's been so gradual, so subtle, that you've adapted to feeling terrible and calling it normal. But what if I told you that in the next 12 minutes, you could understand exactly why your body has stopped healing itself, and more importantly, how to flip that switch back on. Here's what's really happening inside your body right now. Every cell in your system is supposed to go through a natural cycle, damage and repair, breakdown and rebuilding. It's like having a construction crew that works around the clock, fixing what gets worn down during the day. But for most people, that repair crew has been laid off. They're not getting the resources they need, not getting the right signals, not even getting permission to do their job. Instead, your body has shifted into what I call damage control mode. It's so busy trying to manage the immediate crisis, the inflammation, the stress hormones, the metabolic chaos, that it has no energy left for actual healing. Think of it like this. Imagine your house is on fire and instead of putting out the fire, you just keep running around moving furniture away from the flames. You're managing the crisis, but you're not solving the problem. The fire keeps spreading. That's your body right now. Managing symptoms instead of healing root causes. Patching holes instead of rebuilding the foundation. And this isn't just affecting how you feel day to day. This is accelerating aging at a cellular level. Inside the cell, your batteries, your mitochondria, start leaking smoke instead of clean power. Your immune system is both overactive and underactive at the same time, attacking your own tissues while failing to protect you from real threats. You're literally aging from the inside out, and most doctors won't tell you this until the damage is so severe that it shows up on a blood test or scan. Let me paint you a picture of what's happening at the cellular level when your body can't heal properly. Your cells are supposed to burn fuel cleanly, like a well-tuned engine that burns gasoline and produces energy with minimal exhaust. But when your body is stuck in damage control mode, your cells start burning fuel dirty. They're producing energy, but they're also creating massive amounts of oxidative stress, essentially rust that damages everything it touches. Here's the real problem. Insulin resistance. Think of insulin as a key that unlocks your cells so sugar can get in for energy. When those locks get jammed, your body makes more keys, flooding your system with insulin. This creates a vicious cycle, more inflammation, more weight gain, and eventually the path to diabetes. Your liver is the processing plant for metabolic byproducts. When the line backs up, it clears less and you feel it as sluggishness and brain fog. Your gut lining, that barrier between your digestive system and bloodstream, starts to break down. Imagine a screen door with holes in it. Particles that should stay in your gut leak into your bloodstream. Your immune system sees these as invaders and attacks, creating inflammation throughout your entire body. Your stress response system, which was designed for quick bursts of danger, gets stuck in the on position. The constant flood of stress hormones breaks down muscle, weakens your immune system, and makes it impossible to get deep, restorative sleep. And perhaps most devastating of all, autophagy, your cellular cleanup crew, goes offline. This is your body's way of taking out the trash, breaking down damaged parts so they can be rebuilt fresh. When this cleanup crew stops working, your cells accumulate junk like a garage that hasn't been cleaned in years. This metabolic breakdown doesn't happen in isolation. It creates a domino effect that hits every system in your body. Your cardiovascular system takes a beating as chronic inflammation damages your blood vessels from the inside out. They become stiff and narrow, like old pipes getting clogged with rust. Your blood gets thicker, your heart has to pump harder, and every beat becomes more work than it should be. Your hormones, those chemical messengers that control everything from energy to mood, start sending mixed signals. Your thyroid might look normal on paper but stops working effectively. The hormones that control your sex drive, muscle mass, even your ability to feel happy start declining or getting out of balance. Your brain suffers as inflammation crosses into your neural tissue, memory gets fuzzy, focus becomes a struggle, and your mood swings like a pendulum because your brain can't produce the right chemicals for emotional balance. Your muscles and joints deteriorate faster than they can rebuild. Cartilage wears down, tendons get inflamed, and muscles lose their strength. Every movement becomes more difficult, more painful, creating a cycle where you move less, which makes everything worse. And here's the cruelest part, as all these systems break down, they create more stress on your body, which accelerates the breakdown even further. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, getting bigger and faster with every rotation. You end up feeling like you're aging in dog years, like your body is betraying you, like health is something that happens to other people but never to you. But here's what the medical system doesn't want you to know. This process is completely reversible. 
Your body has an extraordinary capacity for regeneration. Your liver can regrow itself. Up to 75% of it can regenerate. Your gut lining replaces itself every few days. Your blood completely refreshes every few months. Even your bones are constantly breaking down and rebuilding themselves. The problem isn't that your body has lost the ability to heal. The problem is that you've been unknowingly creating conditions that prevent healing from happening. It's like trying to grow a garden in soil that's too acidic, with no water and no sunlight, then wondering why nothing grows. The seeds aren't broken. The environment is wrong. Your body is the same way. Given the right conditions, it will heal itself with a speed and thoroughness that will shock you. But you have to create those conditions intentionally, deliberately, consistently. This isn't about taking more supplements or following the latest health fad. This is about understanding what your body actually needs to repair itself and creating a lifestyle that supports those needs instead of fighting against them. So what does your body actually need to shift from breakdown to repair mode? It comes down to three big rocks. First, fuel flexibility. Your cells need to remember how to switch between different fuel sources. Right now, they're probably stuck burning sugar all day long, which is like running your car engine at maximum speed constantly. Through intermittent fasting, your body learns to burn fat for fuel too. And that's when the cellular cleanup crew finally gets to work. This also means eating the right raw materials, quality proteins for rebuilding tissue, healthy fats for hormone production, and minerals for all those chemical reactions that keep you alive. Second, timing and circadian rhythm. Your repair systems are completely tied to your body's internal clock. Most healing happens at night, but only if your body knows when it's actually nighttime. This means bright light exposure in the morning to wake up your system, darkness at night for deep repair sleep, and consistent timing so your body knows when to heal. Temperature variation fits here too. Cold showers or heat exposure create controlled challenges that trigger repair mechanisms. Third, safety and recovery. Your body needs to know it's safe to heal. When you're constantly in fight or flight mode, healing is impossible. This includes resolving inflammation, not just suppressing it, supporting your body's waste elimination systems through proper hydration and movement, and creating genuine rest periods where repair becomes the priority. Each of these big rocks supports the others. When you nail the timing, fuel flexibility becomes easier. When your body feels safe, your circadian rhythm naturally improves. When you're metabolically flexible, recovery happens faster. So how do you actually implement the cellular repair program? Start your morning with bright light exposure and movement to set your internal clock. Even just 10 minutes of sunlight and gentle movement signals to your body that it's time to be active. Walk outside, do some stretching, just get your body moving and your eyes exposed to natural light. Instead of eating all day long, compress your meals into specific windows. This gives your digestive system time to rest and your cellular cleanup crew time to work. Your body can't repair and digest at the same time, so by creating clear eating and fasting periods, you're essentially scheduling maintenance time. Use temperature variation to trigger repair mechanisms. End your shower with 30 seconds of cold water or spend time in heat followed by cooling down. These temperature changes wake up your cellular repair systems by creating controlled challenges that make you stronger. Think of exercise differently. It's not just about burning calories, it's about triggering regeneration. High intensity bursts, followed by proper recovery tell your body it needs to rebuild stronger. Strength training forces your body to create new, healthier muscle tissue. Even gentle movement helps your body flush out metabolic waste products. Optimize your sleep environment for maximum repair. Keep your bedroom cool, completely dark, and go to bed at the same time each night. This is when growth hormone is released, when your brain cleans itself, and when your immune system resets. Focus on smart hydration, clean water with natural electrolytes, consume steadily throughout the day, not just chugged when you're already thirsty. Finally, prioritize foods that give you the most repair-supporting nutrients per bite. Organ meats, wild-caught seafood, colorful vegetables, and fermented foods provide the raw materials your cellular repair systems need to function. Here's what you can expect as your body shifts from breakdown to repair mode. In the first week or two, you'll notice stabilization. Your energy levels will even out instead of those dramatic crashes. You'll have more sustained vitality throughout the day, and your sleep quality may improve as your internal clock resets. Around week three and four, you'll experience the metabolic shift. Your body starts burning fuel more efficiently. You may notice changes in appetite, improved mental clarity, and the beginning of body composition changes. Months two and three bring repair activation. Those chronic aches and pains that you thought were permanent may start resolving. Your skin quality improves. Digestive issues that have plagued you for years start settling down. That mental fog begins to lift. Months four through six mark the regeneration phase. 
Your muscle mass increases because your body finally has the resources to build and maintain lean tissue. Bone density improves, hormones rebalance, and you start feeling genuinely vibrant again. Beyond month six is optimization, when you realize what your body is actually capable of when it's functioning properly. Energy that lasts all day, mental sharpness that surprises you, emotional resilience that helps you handle stress, and physical vitality you haven't felt in years. But here's the key, this isn't a quick fix. This is a fundamental shift in how you support your body's natural healing capacity. It requires consistency and patience. Your body wants to heal. Right now, even after everything it's been through, it's still trying to repair itself with whatever resources you give it. But it needs your partnership in this process. This isn't about perfection. This isn't about following some rigid protocol for the rest of your life. This is about understanding what your body needs to thrive and then creating sustainable systems that support those needs. Start with one change, just one. Maybe it's eating your last meal three hours before bed to give your digestive system a break. Maybe it's getting sunlight in your eyes within 30 minutes of waking up. Maybe it's taking a five minute walk after meals. Small changes, implemented consistently, create profound transformations at the cellular level. Your body has been waiting patiently for you to create the conditions for healing. It's been managing crisis after crisis, doing the best it can with what you've given it. But today, right now, you have the opportunity to shift from crisis management to true healing, to move from breaking down to building up, to transform from someone who's just surviving to someone who's genuinely thriving. If this message spoke to something deep inside you, if you felt a spark of hope about what's possible for your health, leave the word repair in the comments below. Let that be your commitment to yourself and your healing journey. Because you deserve to feel vibrant. You deserve to wake up with energy. You deserve to live in a body that supports your dreams instead of limiting them. The repair starts today. Your body is ready. Are you?